Back then they didn't want you. Now you hot, they all on you. What's going on everybody? My name is John, you're watching Soul Post and this is another Soul Post unboxing. Today we have up for review is the Jordan 1 Retro OG High Shadow. The Jordan 1 Shadow was kind of like the little brother of the other OG colorways like the Chicago, Bread, Black Toe, etc, etc. It wasn't a part of the original Retro in 94, that was the Chicago and the Bread, or the 2001 Retro, which was the Bread and the Royal. It also didn't get its own little special pack like the Black Toe did with the Old Love, New Love pack in 2006. When the shoe finally retroed in 2009, it was during the time when Nike thought that uh, consumers wanted Jordan brand on the tongue instead of Nike Air. They were wrong. And uh, the shoe sat for months and I think even like to like 2010, 2011, you could still find you a pair of Jordan 1 shadows with the little Jordan tongue uh, for, re for retail or less than. Then the shoe dropped in 2013 with the Nike Air branding, but truth be told, the leather wasn't the greatest of quality, but that didn't stop the shoe from selling out, which was kind of a big surprise considering, you know, that was a shoe that was kind of left by the wayside in Jordan Brand's catalog. This shoe is part of the remastered Jordan 1 collection where they're basically uh, retroing a classic Jordan 1 colorway or a couple colorways every year. Started with the Chicago uh, in 2004, then we had, in no particular order because I'm going off the off memory, we had the Bread, the Royal, we had the Metallic Pack, the Kentucky Pair or the Storm Blue Pair, and the Black Toe. I think I got all of them. Now in 2018, we have the Shadow One. Let's take a look at the box. The box is a standard Nike box for the Jordan One. It's got the black and red color scheme with the red Nike swoosh on all four major corners, as well as right here. And the tongue tag is actually a new tongue tag that was used for the off-white Jordan One white, but I don't think it was used for any other Jordan One retros this year where it has the men's and women's sizes on it. It's a kind of nice little touch. Color code for this shoe is black, medium gray, and white. Now let's take a look at the shoe. The shoe features a black upper with medium gray on the Nike swoosh and on the ankle and heel panels, as well as the Jordan brand Jordan Wings logo. And I must say, this is a really nice leather. If shattered backboard is the pinnacle, this is basically uh, a step down from it, or a step or two down from it. It's a really soft leather, and if I could best describe it, it's reminiscent of the Jordan 1 bread. Going into the front of the shoe, you've got a black toe box with a medium gray toe cap. The tongue is a black nylon tongue with the Nike Air logo in medium gray, and it has black laces, but it also comes with medium gray laces as well. On the heel, you have the heel and ankle panels, and it's also this tumbled leather, as is the, the toe cap, is a tumbled leather, and again, also very soft. Going towards the medial, you have the same exact design as the front, save for the Jordan Wings logo. So you've got the black leather upper with the medium gray swoosh and the ankle and heel panels. The shoe has a white midsole with a black rubber outsole. Overall, the shoe is a dope shoe. Um, like I said, the quality on it is amazing. Also, the shoe has a very classic look to it. And um, just off the quality alone, if you're a fan of Jordan 1s, you should pick it up. Also, you can take into account that it's an OG colorway. And the fact that, again, the leather quality is amazing. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna stop talking about this leather. Now let's get some detailed looks of the shoe, and I'll catch you after the jump.
Jordan 1 Retro OG High Shadow hits Nike Retails and Nike.com on April 14th for a retail price of $160. All right, everyone, this has been another Soul Post unboxing. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell icon so you kept up with everything we do on the Soul Post channel. Check out soulpost.com for more news, sneaker releases, and sneaker info. Also, you can follow us on social media here. I'm John from Soul Post. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.